so one thing which i forgot in the previous lectures was we are storing the history of all the events for the order but we have to store the current status of the order as well so to do that in the schema.prisma file we have to add an extra field in the order which is status and that status will be of type order event status and here we will give a default value of pending now let's run the server so let's create the migration first add current status now i guess it should work so in case like we are creating the order here so by default the order will go into the current state of pending so i i hope like you got my point so it's important to store the history as well like on which date and time the order like the status of that order was changed so when it was in pending so and on what date and time it got out for delivery and all these things but on the other hand we need to store the current status as well obviously we can compute the current status by this order event as well to fetch the latest event of that order but it's convenient to store it this way in the order model so yeah so that's all from this lecture now in the next lectures we will finish all these routes